to step six. In this step, we're going to look at setting up a subscription form. So first, we're going to look in Aweber. The first thing you need to do is set up a list. Then you follow the on-screen instructions provided by Aweber to ensure that the list is sufficiently set up. And then the next thing you want to do is make the subscription form where your prospective mailing list members are going to opt in from. Let's go and have a look at how we do that now. So you go to aweber.com and then you log in to your account. Then once you've got the list that you want, so the first thing you'll do would be create and manage lists. You can do that here. Once you've created a new list and you have the list, you want to be sure to select the one you want to create the, the opt-in for. And then you go to web forms. Once you've selected web forms, you're simply going to click create new form. And it's going to load the form generator for you. It's a very cool little system. So you can choose templates different styles of form you want. I quite like this style here, I think it's nice. And we can choose the color that we want. That's what we're going to put there. We click OK. And we have our name and email, we have a nice big sign up button. Okay, and then you click go to step two. Now we want to give it a name, so we're going to call it... This is just an identifier for you, then you can set up a thank you page. This is the page that they see after they go to, so you can enter in your own custom URL. And then this one here is for if they've already subscribed with that email address. You can either let it let these stay as the default ones provided by Aweber. Or you can use your personal ones that you set up. Then we save the web form. And now we can choose what we want to do. We're going to click I will install my form. And then you simply put this JavaScript snippet of code inside your, your design. So we're going to take this and we're going to add it into a page that we're creating where the Aweber form is. Just put in the HTML there. and then hit preview there we go it's now our Aweber form, here's the opt-in details name and email and we'll sign up onto that list if we put in those details okay it's as simple as that with Aweber now we're going to look at Imnica Mail with Imnica Mail it works almost the same as with Aweber they call it campaigns instead of lists though so the first thing you need to do is set up a campaign if you're using a Imnica instead of Aweber. So let's get our subscription form set up now in Imnica Mail. So you log into Imnica Mail. And it loads the interface for you. And then what you want to do is you want to set up a list. So you can create a new subscriber list or you select the one you want. And from here you can go through and you can see the custom fields, the autoresponders. And what we want to do is we want to do an integration form. So the fields we want to use are first name only, generate form HTML. There we go. Now it's gone and made the form for us. So then you click on settings and you can choose subscription options as we did in Aweber before. Display my own pending page. So this is the one that subscribers see as soon as they submit the form. So they've put in the details and they submit subscript. Sorry, <laughs> submit the form, and then it comes back with me telling them that they're almost there. And then this one is the confirmation one. So then this is where you'll send them to download their product and you can put in your own unsubscription confirmation page as well but for now we're just going to do the one and obviously you'll need to fill this one in here sending them to the product to whatever page you set up for that so it now tells us that our thing is done we'll just regenerate that form to make sure it's correct 
we can copy this code into that web page that we were busy building before. So this is the Imnica mail form. Put it under there. Let's save that. Yay, okay, so we've now set up subscription forms from both Aweber and Imnica Mail. And you've now given a way for people to join your list and for you to manage them. That's fantastic. So you then also need to set it up that you can deliver the product to them after they confirm. And I'll see you in the next video.